Okay, this is uh, Casville Technology Education and this is uh, pen turning. All right, the beginning stage of pen turning, we we're actually going to make the blanks for the pens. Okay, and the blanks are the wood pieces that the, the main part of the body of the pen will be made up of. All right, so to do that, we have a, a couple of procedures. First of all, I want to pick the type of lumber we're going to use. Uh, the lumber we're going to be actually using is scrap wood, so uh, you can pick from the scrap bin uh, the lumber you're going to use. And in this case, I just pulled a few, few samples. I pulled a maple piece out, I pulled a piece of walnut, um, and then I pulled some red oak. And you see I have like a square block, and then I have some uh, flatter, wider, and longer pieces. Um, so you don't necessarily have to pick a certain size of material, um, it just has to be big enough in order to make the pen blank itself. Okay, the uh, pen uh, kit okay, comes with parts inside of it, and it will come with all the inner components of the pen minus the wooden blanks. Okay, and from this uh, pen kit, we actually want to take out the tubes, okay, and there are little uh, brass tubes inside this kit, so we're going to take those out, and there's two of them. So that means we're going to make two uh, wooden pen blanks. Uh, in this process. So I'm going to take these out so I have those uh, ready to go uh, for the next step after we make the wooden blanks. Okay, uh, the pen, uh, the, the wood pen uh, blank sample is this piece here and uh, written on it it says pen blank and it says sample. Okay, we want to make uh, samples just like that are approximately this size if they're slightly larger uh, width and thickness that's okay, we just need, need them to be the exact length. Okay, so we're going to make blanks that are just like this sample piece. Alright, the blank measurement itself measures 5 8 inches by 5 8 inches square. Okay, and then it's 2 inches long. So you have to make two blanks that size. So 5 8 inches by 5 8 inches by 2 inches long. Okay, so again we'll measure them. We're actually about uh, 9 sixteenths of an inch wide. We're going to make them slightly larger, 5 eighths of an inch wide, okay, by 5 eighths inches. And then you can see here that the blank is then exactly 2 inches long. Now we can actually make the blank slightly longer, so if we went 2 and a sixteenth inches long, that would be good because what we're going to do eventually is the tube itself is going to be put inside, or actually glued inside of the blank. And if it's slightly smaller than the blank itself, that's a good thing because we have to square it um, on a squaring process. Okay. All right, we uh, also have then uh, uh, the lumber that we're going to be working with. And the lumber that we're going to be working with is scrap lumber. Now, for a piece that is, uh, like in this case, about two and a half or three inches wide, by about uh, two feet long and if it's like about an inch thick we can then make our starting process of the blanks out of this by planing it. So we take this over to the planer and we want to plane it to about five eighths of an inch thick. Okay and then we would take this board here and we take it to the bandsaw which we'll so show next and we'll cut a strip out of this that's five eighths inches wide. Okay, so plane it to 5 eighths inches thick, and then we'll go over the bandsaw and we will uh, cut it to 5 eighths inches wide. Okay, so what I did was, and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, show that process in here, but what I did was is I already, I already uh, planed the board, and you can see here it's 5 eighths inches thick, and then I went over the bandsaw and I cut it 5 eighths inches wide, and you can see it's still 24 inches long. Um, so I can now cut 2 inch blanks out of this. Now we will also count, cut the two inch blanks out of this at the bandsaw. Okay, uh, we'll set the, the fence up away from the blade two inches and we'll just send it through and it'll give us an exact, a little bit over two inches long uh, blank. Once we're done with that, we'll then drill the blanks out and glue the brass bit. Okay, the other uh, scrap piece that we might possibly have that's not uh, thinner than it is wide or long would be just a block of wood. The block of wood that I have here is about an inch and a half by an inch and a half wide. Uh, basically we need to make sure we joint one edge, table saw the other, and then plane each surface in order to get the square block. 
and you have to have a square block. So if it's rough, it won't work. In this case, this one's been squared. So what I can do with this board is, is I can go over to the bandsaw and I can set the uh, distance between the fence and the bandsaw blade 5 eighths of an inch away and I'll cut a piece off of this and then I'll take that piece I cut off, turn it, and again send it through the 5 eighths inches wide to get my blank. So we'll show that process also. Okay, we're going to uh, take our board that is uh, a couple of inches wide, now 5 eighths inches thick, and we're going to cut a strip out of this 5 eighths inches wide. Okay, so I have uh, one edge squared off. I'm going to run this edge against my fence. The fence is on the outside of the uh, center of the blade and the bandsaw. And in this process, I want it on the outside. Okay. I'm going to take my blade guide and set it slightly above the thickness of the board, which we are set. I have my pencil and a tape measure. And I'm going to take and measure on the outside that I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to measure in 5 8 inches wide. And I'm going to put a mark at the 5 8 inches width. So I have a little mark. And I'm going to take my fence and move this in so that the blade lines right up with my mark. And if it's slightly over the size of the mark, that's fine. Okay, because we're turning these pieces down to lay so they can actually be slightly larger than our sample. Okay, and I, so then I'm going to take and I'm just going to send this through the bandsaw and it's going to rip cut a strip that's 5 eighths inches wide by 5 eighths inches thick for me. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. And I now have a blank or a stick that is 5 eighths inches thick by 5 eighths inches wide that I can now make 2 inch blanks out of. Okay, we have our uh, square block of uh, scrap wood here. And again, it's been uh, jointed, table sawed, plain two surfaces. Okay, And what we're going to do is we're going to take and cut a 5 eighths inch wide piece off of the side of it. So essentially they call it resawing. Right, so what I did was, is I put the fence off to the left of the blade, I put the blade guard to the height of the block, I marked the block at 5 eighths inches in, I lined it up with the blade and now I'm going to send it through on a cut. <laughs> block, I cut my 5 eighths of an inch thick piece off. I then marked it again on the outside to 5 eighths of an inch in, inches in. I set my blade guide rip fence on the outside now of the blade and I lined it up so that the blade meets my mark and I'm going to send this through to make a cut. by 5 eighths blank that I'm now going to cut. Okay, now we have our uh, blanks cut out, our shorter one that we cut off of the square piece of lumber, and then our longer one that we cut out of the longer, wider board. Okay, and I took the fence again and I put it on the inside of the blade, and I made a distance from the rip fence to the blade a little, about a eighth of an inch over two inches, so we're two and an eighth inches. Okay, I'm going to move my blade guide down, thickness of the board, 
And now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to make cuts with the board sideways to make two inch pieces effectively.